and Street Fighter. What's going on, Fight Fans? This is Capital Combat. The name says it all. I'm Rob Jarrell, and this is just a preview on this weekend's World Boxing Super Series Cruiserweight matchup featuring Marius Bradis, who is the WBCA, WBC, oh Jesus Christ, WBC Cruiserweight Titles versus Mike Perez, um, the former heavyweight contender from Cuba fighting out of Ireland, and Marius Bradis is, fighting, is from Latvia. You don't see too many guys from Latvia. I'm actually excited to see this guy. I saw a couple fights with him. Uh, let's take a look for a second. Um, the last fights that I had a chance to see him fight uh, was against Marius Bradis and... Who also fought the tough Olin Riwaju Duradola. Um, Marius Bradis is a really good fighter. Uh, he has a extensive amateur background, and he took on a tough Duradola, tough Marco Hutt. Um, not as much as a knockout artist as some of the other guys in the cruiserweight division. He's 22 and 0 with 18 KOs. Um, he was able to knock out um, Duradola. Emmanuel Char, but those are probably the best names uh, aside from Marco Huck. Now he's got a unique challenge um, from Mike Perez out of Cuba fighting out of Ireland um, because one, Marius Bradis at about 6'1", and of course about 200 pounds, is a pretty solid dude if you've seen him. He's got good boxing skills. I think he has a very good left hook to the body. He can uh, get, on, get on the inside and muscle you and has really good upper body movement. Um, I've been pretty impressed with what I've seen. Not the fastest guy in the world, but again, the larger weight, you're not going to see too many super speedsters as far as hand speed. But he has really good pop on his punches. I think um, when fighting on the inside versus Doradola, he can hurt you. And then if he can throw that boom, left hook to the body, left hook upstairs, um, he can really ring your bell and I was again thoroughly impressed with what I saw um, and with this World Boxing Super Series it's giving these guys these talented guys high time to face the best possible opponents in the cruiserweight uh, division which isn't really a glamour division but it's a lot deeper um, than what people think it is uh, in the top 10 is I would probably put up against any other top 10 any other division not being the super flyweight division the welterweight division or junior middleweight division or the 175 pound division so it's up there i would have to put it over several other um weight classes as far as talent especially in the um in the top 10. so interesting matchup i don't think bradis is really going to be able to out muscle a guy mike perez who was fighting at about 230, 240 pounds, and he was only about six feet. Um, he gave a lot of guys hell. Um, he gave um, Brian Jennings, he gave him hell. Uh, he drew with Carlos to come, and then he had that really close match with Magomed Abdul Salamov, and unfortunately, Abdul Salamov. Um, suffered major brain damage, but if you've watched the boxing news, he received a $22 million settlement. Hopefully that will help him with all of his needs for a substantial amount of time um, and hopefully help his family cover those expenses and just their regular living expenses. Um, but we're not here to talk about that. But Mike Perez is very crafty. He's fighting out that southpaw stance and he's a pretty big guy. Um, at one point, he looked like this, and now he looks like this. That's pretty damn impressive. Um, taking off all that time after his knockout loss to Alexander Povetkin in 2015, um, which he was actually caught with the right hand, um, hurt severely, and then caught again. Um, it's under mysterious circumstances because we know... Um, the issues that Alexander Povetkin have had with performing enhancing drugs, um, especially coming up against that fight uh, that was scheduled against Deontay Wilder. 
But again, we're not here to talk about that. He's only had one fight since uh, May of 2015, and that was a layup. The guy got hurt of Victor Biscat, which we really couldn't see what he was made of. But he looked to be in great shape. He's not really a mover, but he's got really good upper body movement. I would like to see him keep his hands up more and not down by his side. But he's actually got really decent hand speed. And I think he's going to come up in this fight with a lot of confidence, knowing that he's coming down. He's a lot in a lot better shape. Um his speed has probably gone up. He's probably more confident and thinks that he can take any guy in this division. And I think he's actually overlooked. Um, between his draw with um, Carlos DeCom, the loss to Pavekin and uh, Brian Jennings, he's had pretty decent. Um, he's had pretty decent competition again. Abdul Salamov. He knocked out uh, Darnell Wilson, who was in the cruiserweight division for a long time, and. Travis Walker, Friday, uh, Hunanya, um, which are those guys that you get stepping stones against in the heavyweight division. So I think he brings a really good pedigree. Um, Mayor's Braid is 22 and 0. Mike Perez is 22 and 22, 2 and 1. So he doesn't have as many fights and he's not even as old as, uh, as Mary's Braid is. Uh, Braid is 32. So they're about the same age. So no one really has that kind of, um, uh, advantage in age or um, experience. They both have extensive, extensive amateur backgrounds. Um, and yeah, there, uh, there's nothing I can really say about it at this time. It's just, it's going to be an interesting matchup. Um, out of that Southpaw stance, I think Perez is going to give the Latvian plenty of trouble. I think he's got a really good jab when he uses it. Um, I think he needs to let his hands go more and he has to establish um, his power and strength early against the um, against Bradis, uh because if not, he's going to get bullied and then he's going to get countered a lot. But if he can show that he can not only have good firepower, but slip those punches and not too, too much damage, he has a really good chance. I favor uh, Bradis. He's just, I think he's a little bit fresher. He hasn't taken as much punishment. Um, I think he'd give out that punishment. I think he might be um, a slightly better boxer and used to the hand speed. But if it gets on the inside, I'm going to favor Perez. Um, if it's from mid range, I think Bradis will take it. I think it's going to be a pretty close fight. I honestly do. As much as high as I am on Bradis, I think Perez presents. A different set of problems as far as strength, pedigree, um, and the fact that he's coming in in much better shape that Bradis has not seen before. Again, he beat Marco Huck. He handily beat Marco Huck, but the problem is Marco Huck is shop worn to me. Even though he's around the same age, he's just been in too many battles. He's been knocked out. Um, he doesn't have great defense, and he's going against a guy who can start out defensively and then turn it into offense. Um, I'm going to say it's going to be 116-112 for Bradis Prescott. I think it might even be controversial. Um, but I'm kind of looking forward to this fight. I think it's going to be really interesting. Also on the card this weekend is some low-key, decent fights. Um, you got Spike O'Sullivan versus Nick Quigley. That's going to be a sh uh, not a showcase fight, but they're going to be looking, at a, uh, looking to contend for a title soon and maybe one or two fights. And there is, well, not good scraps, but there's entertainment on that's off TV. And again, it's going to be streamed on um, on the World Boxing Super Series website um, instead of on America TV. I think as a, the U.S. is really missing out because it is a slow weekend. So check it out. Um, I'm going to catch it. I hope you do. And I'll give you what I think in the uh, recap on Sunday. Other than that, I've got nothing else. If you got any questions, just let me know. Put all your thoughts, um, questions, comments in the comment section below. Be respectful to us as well as to yourselves. We're just here to talk boxing. Have a good time. And until next time, fight on. This is round one and you've already lost. They don't seem to see that everything we've done is coming.